Hey you guys, I just wanted to have a chat with you guys about where I am lately with this channel, with life. Uh, I've just been growing a lot and I see a lot of changes coming for me personally down the pike and you know I've been reading this really good book. I haven't finished it yet so I can't really do a proper review but it's called Busy. <laughs> How do you like this? How to thrive in a world of too much. And it's just really, really been challenging me. I mean, I've talked about this on the channel before about how to not really commit yourself to too many things. But this guy is making certain statements that are just really in my face. Like, listen to this. Busy is the easy option. We are busy because we don't make the tough choices. We allow the world in our inbox to set our agenda rather than think for ourselves. It's tough and it takes courage and I'm really enjoying this book. I just really wanted to come on here and ask a question because I've really been considering everything that's been going on in the news, on social media, in response to Black Lives Matter and the police killings and just the general attitude that everyone needs to join a camp and that admitting any part of what the person from the other side might be saying could have any glimmer of truth in it is a betrayal to your camp. And, you know, I just feel it very strongly, especially where I am. I would say the homeschool community where I am, there are a lot of black families coming in and more and more black families homeschooling. But for the most part, we are a predominantly white community. And I would say that that's the, the same for me also where God has led us to worship. I've just noticed that it's just like a ridiculous elephant in the closet wherever I go. And, you know, in response to the whole Black Lives Matters movement, I've seen the rise of the All Lives Matter. And the question I really want to ask you guys is, I've seen people respond to that by giving different analogies. You know, you could say all houses matter, but right now my house is on fire. When I call the, the fire department, would they answer, well, all lives matter, so we can't make the drive down and put out the fire in your house? I mean, I've seen all kinds of analogies to try to explain to people why people are saying black lives matter and why this isn't a risk that your response all lives matter is not only offensive but it's counterproductive to us really being able to move past the institutional racism and the injustice that still exists in our country in our nation is that really what's going on? Do people really not get it? Or is it really a matter of I'm in my camp <laughs> and you're in your camp and even though what you're saying makes sense, I have to stay in my camp and push forth our rhetoric even though I know and I really truly deep down really do understand what you're saying. I'm just going to say all lives matter because I don't want to deal with what you're talking about because it would be a betrayal to the people in my camp is that is that is that what's going on here because honestly with all the analogies that have been out there I really don't understand how anyone still doesn't get it now as far as you know the police shootings and people rioting and you know just all sorts of law lawlessness I'm against lawlessness I mean I'm a huge fan of non-violent protests and making your brain work, having a plan and having a strategy, you know? And I do think that there are people that are trying to devise that kind of strategy. But if you're out there just, you know, being a, thugged out in response to all of this, I don't think it's helping. <laughs> I don't think it's helping. I don't support that. As honestly, as a mother, with a young black son who often finds himself to be the only one because of where we live and the circles that we have found ourselves in. 
it's really not comforting to think that because of a stereotype that's out there, he might find himself in a position where before all the details come out, just because of the way he looks, <laughs> just because of the history he carries behind him, that something negative, <laughs> you know, that he could even lose his life because of that, that that's just unacceptable. And that really, to me, is the heart of what your average Joe Schmo, law-abiding Black American citizen is trying to, to say, what are we going to do about this? Be blessed.